Hello everyone and welcome back to our Happy Quadrilla class. Today we are about to take the master level challenge number 37. In this one we are going to make it with only one entrance and two exits, which wouldn't be quite easy. Are you ready to take up the challenge? Let's do it together! But first let's check out the challenge card and find the corresponding blocks. And I'll see you right back! Here is our build. Please make sure that you have two marble collectors and you've made a good use of the accelerators. Now, according to the challenge card, we can see that the starting block is the yellow one. And the starting sequence of the marbles is red, blue, yellow, blue. However, there are two arriving sequences. The first is blue, yellow, and the second is blue and red. It's quite clear that we need to change the sequence of the marbles, which means we are definitely going to use the seesaw block. Now let's try to figure out the secret blocks together. Before we start debugging, let's try to imagine the possible roots of these marbles. Let's assume that the red marble will roll into the red seesaw through the yellow block and out of the number zero. Then it will meet the first secret block running through the blue block. In terms of this secret block, we can see that there must be only one path, which is a rightward path. Can you figure out why it is? I'm giving you a little time to think about it. Okay, let's find out the reason. First of all, this secret block only has two paths with different directions. One is a straight up and the other is a rightward. Let's look at the first direction first, the straight path. If the secret block's path is straight up and down, the red marble will directly run out of the green block, while according to the requirement, the red marble should roll out from the yellow block on the right. So, in this situation, the first option does not work then it only has the other option, which is the rightward path. Let's find an appropriate block to replace it. How about the natural block? It has a straight path. Hmm, this doesn't fit. How about the green one? It seems to be the right option because it does have the right exit. You can see that the red marble rolls exactly how we expected before it hits the second secret block. As for the second secret block, as we mentioned earlier, we are going to need a seesaw block in order to change the marble's roots. And since the red seesaw block has already been used, the second one cannot be anything but the blue seesaw. Now we just need to figure out the initial setting of the blue seesaw block. Here we have zero positioned up and one positioned down. Let's try together. Oops, this position doesn't seem to work because look, the red and yellow marbles are on the wrong sides. According to the card, they should be on the opposite sides. Hmm, why did that happen? Let's take a look because the red marble hit the blue seesaw block when zero was positioned up and one was positioned down. So it is clear that we need to change the positions. We need to put one on the top and zero at the bottom in order to make the red marble roll straight down the yellow block and the yellow marble roll to the left and out of the green block. Okay, so let's put the marbles back into the launcher and launch them successfully. Great, we did 
it, this seems to work. All the marbles roll out just as the card required. Well done everyone with this challenge. Now let's review it. We understand that we successfully narrowed down all the choices throughout careful and logical analysis of the challenge card. Once we analyze the questions thoroughly and systematically, we can target the answers we need very quickly and precisely. You can always keep that in your mind when dealing with any tricky problems in your daily life. I'm sure this important skill will serve you all your future life. All right, we will take the last challenge of our course in the next class. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.